Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to talk to you today about five types of photos that you can take of yourself for your business. Let's get started. Okay, first let's talk really quickly about why you want to be sharing these types of photos on your social media, photos of yourself. First of all, these photos increase engagement. So we're always talking about this algorithm. We may be cursing the algorithm, but really if we share more photos that people want to engage with, the algorithm kind of follows. So social media is social after all. So if you share photos of yourself and give people someone to feel connected to and to see your face and feel like you're a real person behind your business, that is going to go a long way to get likes, comments, and all of those things push the algorithm. Plus bonus, you're also just connecting with people, which is also super cool. Number two, those types of photos forge stronger connections with your ideal customers. The ideal customers are the people who are most likely to buy your art, your products, your service, whatever it is that you are selling. And if they feel connected to you, they're even more likely to want to invest in you. They'll feel like they know you, they'll feel like they trust you, and that connection is extremely powerful in marketing. And also as a bonus, you're just genuinely connecting with people, which feels pretty good. So that's awesome too. Number three, sharing photos of yourself and your business will actually help you sell with a lot more ease. So no one feels great about being salesy and icky, but on Instagram and Facebook and social media, if you share photos of yourself, people are gonna feel more connected to you. They're gonna feel like they know you. They're going to feel like you're a friend. And who is most likely to support you probably a friend who also super loves the things that you create. So when you do have a new product line or a promotion coming up and you share that on social media, those people who are already engaged and feel connected to you are going to be just so excited to get their hands on something new and to buy something from you to support you and to get these products that they love. So those are some examples of why it is so important to include photos of yourself in your social media. Now let's talk about five actual photos that you can take of yourself to share on social. Photo number one, your hands at work. So whether you are a crocheter or you sculpt or you are a digital entrepreneur like myself and maybe you're working on your computer a lot of the time or maybe you're a baker and you're decorating cupcakes, whatever it is, take a flat lay photo of your hands doing your work. People love to see the magic. They love to see it come to life. And seeing you actually creating something with your hands can be such an amazing way to connect with people and to help them feel connected to your products. Plus, it's a really low pressure way to include photos of yourself in your business. You don't have to do your makeup. You don't have to put on a fancy outfit. It's just your hands. So you just have to take a flat lay of your hands doing some type of work in your business and post that on social and watch the engagement and connection flow. Photo number two, a casual slash personal photo. So this is, can be a photo of you with your dog or your kid or out for a walk in your favorite neighborhood or somewhere that inspires you. And you can share that with your audience by giving them that kind of casual glimpse behind the scenes of your life. You can really help nail that connection down and help people feel like they really do know you and they have a sense of who you are more as a person. If you're not comfortable with sharing super details of your personal life, like photos of your kids and stuff like that, that is completely acceptable. You don't have to do that. But if you can even share something like a photo of you on a hike or wherever it is that feels like a place where you decompress and have fun and relax, then that can be a really amazing way to share something special about your life. Photo number three, share a photo of you in your workspace. So your office or your studio, you can be working or you can just be leaning against a desk or a shelf, standing there, looking out the window, whatever. But this is an opportunity for you to show up in your social media feed and share a little bit about the place where your work comes alive. And that is a really cool experience as a customer, as a client, and for you to feel a stronger connection with your people, kind of letting them have a glimpse behind the curtain and see where the magic comes to life is a really cool thing to do. 
Photo number four, share a fun or adventurous photo. This is a way you can really infuse your personality and some of your passions into your photos. It can be a picture of you throwing confetti up in the air or a photo of you at the beach or on top of a mountain or somewhere really cool. If you're not really into big adventures, it could be something simple like sitting at a coffee shop or walking down a street where you really love to window shop or something like that. Sharing of just really fun personality infused photo of you can be such a fun way for people to get to know you better. And last but not least, photo number five, share a brand portrait of yourself. Now, a brand portrait would be what people would typically consider a headshot. So it could be kind of like your face, your shoulders, maybe your torso, and it is more posed, although you want it to look relaxed, but it's usually posed and it is planned well and it really exudes your brand vibe and it is kind of your professional photo. They are great profile photos that you can include on your Instagram and they do not have to be stuffy corporate headshots on a white background. You for sure want to infuse a lot more personality and uniqueness into them than that. Think about a place that really exemplifies your brand and the vibe that your brand gives off and take a photo that really speaks to that and shows you in it. Now, if hiring a brand photographer isn't really your thing and or you want to learn to take your own brand photos and that idea intimidates you, I am hosting a workshop called Shine on September 20th to the 24th. It is going to be so much fun. In this workshop, you have five lessons to go through that teach you everything you need to know to take your own brand portrait at home and edit it and make it look super professional. We also include a private group where we can chat and support one another and where I can encourage you and answer your questions. You have access to those lessons for life, not just those five days. It is so much fun and honestly, one of my favorite things that I do because after that workshop ends, I always get so many wonderful messages of people who feel so good about the photos that they took, telling me that they really feel like they're representative of who they are and that it made them feel so good about themselves. And that is one of the coolest things that I have ever done in my business. So I really love putting on this workshop. If you're interested, the details are all in the link in the com in the description below, not the comments in the description below, you will find the link. It's also at amytakespictures.com slash shine. If you just want to go directly there and I would love to see you. It is so much fun. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you get a notification every time a new video is released. And hey, if you like these ideas, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you also hated them, you can let me know that too. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.